right, let's take a look at Nightmare Tower. Now, you might have seen my video on this a few days ago. Um, it was very early on, actually. It was before I'd even played the uh, full game, or rather bought the full game. And uh, here's the little charger. Oh, that's not too good. As you'll see here, this is kind of a runner, actually. Uh, it's just vertical. And uh, I've got his armor maxed. And uh, actually has the best weapon as well. There's the bomb, blows up all the stuff. This is a very tough game. As you'll see, there's the lava. Now the goal is to avoid hitting that. Because if you do, that's pretty much instant death after at a certain point. That's a little potion. You can pick those up in the upgrade shop. Um, the free version only lets you do so many upgrades. Otherwise, um, as far as I can tell, you can pretty much just play the whole game, in theory, anyway. Um, I, I don't really know how possible it is to beat the game on the free settings. I'm, I'm betting it's not really possible. I mean, I'm sure you could do it, but it's, it's hard enough to do even with maxed out stuff. As uh, you'll hopefully see, I will try to get to the final boss here. I've done that final boss battle a lot, and it's kind of a bullet hell area. Um, it doesn't start as that. It starts off as simple avoiding and uh, attacking and then, you know, knowing where to attack. Um, and then it turns into something much more difficult. As you have tons of stuff coming at you and health pickups are occasional. And you really need to aim carefully. Like right there, I was careless with my aiming. And sometimes um, you'll try to aim and there'll be a little bit of lag. And that will cause some minor mistakes, which, I mean, right now I have tons of health, so I can kind of afford to make it little mistakes like that, as long as it doesn't cause me to, to uh, miss something. Because if you miss something, then you head right into the fire, and you run the risk of messing up. See, on the, on the uh, left-hand side there, there's a little menu, and there's a little meter, and that shows you how close you are to the next area. And I believe for that, for this, that would mean I would be able to go to the final boss. Oh, I was hoping to get the... Uh, I'll pick up there. Oh. Oh, I died. Okay, definitely focused a little too much on the commentary and enough on the gaming. There we go. That's a lot better. Much better start. The better start you have, the less likely you are to fall into the fire. That's one of the potions. Um, they all have different benefits. I'm not exactly sure what this one does. I think it maybe increases your speed. Because um, he was really zooming along there. Yeah, this is probably my favorite game on the Ouya so far. I'm shocked it isn't also on the 360 or PS3. Um, it actually worked pretty well on the Vita, but it's originally a browser game. It's like just kind of, you know, touch very simply with the screen. Well, I really do like... Uh, Button controls. Those feel very natural. I can see this working really well as kind of like how Jetpack Joyride is really fun in short bursts, and then you kind of get hooked on it trying to go you know, level up and all that. And uh, this has that same appeal, but I actually like it a lot more. It's a little faster paced, requires a bit more strategy. I mean, there are times when you really, you know, get angry at yourself for making a mistake, and that. You know, I never felt like that sense of passion with Jetpack Joyride. You know, it's just like, okay, it's a game, I have it on, I can turn it off in a second, and I won't care at all. You know, it's not a very memorable game. There, I was trying to get the power up and just having no luck. And here's the final boss. Oh, here, he will be here soon. Yeah, there you go. See here, just avoid spikes, hit the cannons. Cannon, cannon, moon man head. There's a little tell there for that, so you gotta be very, very careful. Yeah, you can see a little hitch in the animation there. It's very tough. Here's, this is an easy bullet hell section. It gives you a lot of room to maneuver. Later ones do not do that. Later ones are very tough. They throw a lot at you. Like there. There you 
We don't breathe pockets. Too bad, I only took one hit there. My goal was to take no hits, but uh, I don't mind taking one if it, you know, results in uh, getting some more damage in. A frantic section here. What a there's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe this is an invulnerability potion or something. Oh, yeah. That didn't work too well. Well, there's an example of the final boss. Um, oh, let's go. I might as well show you the little shop area. Yeah, you can see I've got it maxed out there. Eh, I'll go with... I can't afford that. I'll just get the, uh, yeah, I'll get the speed boost. 